open the world to our young scientists, bringing world-class mentors and opportunities right here in Malaysia. Seeing our young scientists passionate, curious and determined to make science matter for patients really gives me hope. I think all of them are very enthusiastic. That is the reason why they come, even on weekdays. And at the same time, I can see that from the interaction as well. They are very inquisitive as well in terms of trying to gain knowledge and trying to learn. I think that has impressed me a lot. I'm so excited to be in Malaysia. The energy is so positive. I just was able to meet some of the young people who are presenting posters. Their level of science is as good as anywhere in the world. The goal of ASDR on campus is to really break down barriers of communication, exchange of information, and to really network across different populations, to learn from each other, to share what each other knows, and basically to work together to fight cancer. Well, I feel proud and I feel happy to be given this opportunity to represent Sarawak and also to bring forward our showcase, what have you achieved, what are the potential that we have across to the other scientists and researchers across the world. I'm really glad I made it here today. Being in Kuantan, sometimes we feel a bit isolated. I think it's a very good opportunity to have ASR here in Malaysia is really something. As one of the top 10 finalists for the poster presentations, I feel like it actually proved years of my PhD research work into finally being able to be seen. And I hope that other researchers as well out there don't give up. I'm very happy and grateful that I am going to present my work to a panel of uh, such esteemed judges, which will help me ask questions that maybe I would not have asked or maybe to think in a direction that I have not explored yet. There are several key points I can bring back home. The first one is used to these culinary approaches. The second one is very tight collaboration. Third is respect. And the fourth is sovereignty. By talking to many young scientists here in Malaysia, I found some commonalities between the challenges we met. For instance, the funding it is, is a main challenge in developing countries. Trying to find a fund is very difficult and competitive. The other thing is the link between the academia and the industry. We should find also the stakeholders, which is not an easy task. We may not have unlimited resources, but we have the drive to solve problems that matters. We work together and think creatively to build partnerships instead of working in silos. And this working with less has really built the resilience and the innovation we see in Malaysian science. For a long time, we are followers. We are followers of knowledge, followers of technology, and we often look to Peninsula as the big brothers, where the experts are. I think now we can see that Sarawak can actually be at par in this kind of technology, this kind of science.